Hi there, this is Darren from ProBlogger. I've increasingly been using social media sites as a way of marketing myself and my blogs. Uh, for me, it started out fairly naturally and organically and accidentally, really. I, I've been fascinated with social media sites for a while now and participating in them. But increasingly, I've noticed people coming to my sites from social media sites. I've also noticed an increase in the awareness of my own brand. I guess four main tips come to mind. Uh, the first thing I'd say is to be active on them and to participate in them as much as you possibly can. The way I look at it is that every time I participate, I put myself out there for someone potentially to see. Uh, I put myself out there every time I Twitter something um, for a 1,000 or 1,500 people to be reminded of my brand. The second thing I would say is to have a consistent presence across the different social media sites. I see a lot of people using Twitter and seeing stumble upon and Facebook and Dig and all these th sorts of things. And when you look at their profile pages, they're all very different from one another. To actually have a consistent message across all of your profiles, all of your avatars, can actually reinforce your brand. So every time someone sees this ugly mug, will reinforce their brand because they may have seen this ugly mug somewhere else on another site or on my own blog. The third thing I'd say is to add as much value as you can into the communities that you're participating in. The temptation when you uh, interact on a site like Dig or Facebook is to um, just be completely about promoting yourself. Uh, but what I've found is, is when you become a more useful uh, resource on these sites, people will take notice of you more. And the last thing I'll say is connected to that last one. Uh, let other people do the selling of you. Uh, let, let others, let your followers or your friends on these different sites actively promote you. I've found that when I promote myself on these sites, I get a take up. But when someone else links to me or when someone else recommends me, the take up is much bigger. I hope that these four uh, fairly simple tips will help you in your own social media marketing. Hi, this is Chris Brogan. People are coming to your website or your podcast for a very specific bit of information. They're interested in following what you know about their particular niche and they're interested in how you're going to help serve them. Making good quality content that serves that niche very tightly is very important and a good way for success. Broad generalization exists out there already. Mainstream media does it all the time. You are in an opportune place because you can use social media to create exactly the kind of content that needs to fit your audience. What exactly am I talking about? Say, for example, you write to salespeople. If you're writing for salespeople or blogging for salespeople, podcasting, whatever your particular media is, you now have an opportunity to frame everything from the point of view of a sale. If you're following U.S. politics, you can talk about how this particular situation that shows up in the news relates to a good sales call or how a salesperson might have handled that differently. If you're writing for nonprofits, you can talk about how these tools benefit nonprofits. How you use this informational channel is important, but finding the really tight way to focus on that niche is doubly important. I think that the most important thing you can do is find ways to frame everything in a way that satisfies the customers or the audience or the attendees or the people formerly known as the audience such that they come back to your site as the place of reference. Hope this was helpful. I'm Chris Brogan. You can find more about me at chrisbrogan.com.
Hi, I'm Spencer from Silicon Era. Silicon Era is a video game website with a lot of unique content. One of the challenges is how to present and emphasize that to a reader looking at the site for the first time. We have an eye-catching atypical layout with monsters and dinosaurs and other characters inspired by video games. The layout's fun, with, just like video games are, and it also sets the tone of the website, a kind of fun place to talk and read about video game news. We also have a unique category system called Media Radar. The Media Radar ranks stories written on Silicon Era with the likeliness they will be picked up by the general blogosphere. This allows users to find and, and, easy, and have easy access to our original content.